Hi, I'm Monica Healy. Welcome to Pregnancy Chat. I just want to start this week off by saying congratulations. Four months have passed since baby was conceived and at 20 weeks, you are halfway through your pregnancy journey. Only 20 more weeks to go before you get to meet your baby. Let's get started and see what is happening with baby this week. So at this time, baby's growth has actually slowed down, but baby still has a lot of maturing to do. The organs and systems have long been in place, but need to further develop before baby is ready to be born. This week's major milestone is that baby is developing thicker skin. Our skin is developed in layers, the outer layer called the epidermis, the middle layer called the dermis, which is mostly made up of subcutaneous fat, and the deepest layer is called hypodermis. And if you remember from week 19, the skin is protected by the wax, like vernix, that white greasy substance I talked about. At 20 weeks, there still isn't a lot of fat there, but some areas on the baby's body, such as behind the neck, uh, behind the breastbone, the groin, and around the kidneys, there's this brown fat. And what it does is it produces fatty acids, which helps to keep your baby warm. If we could peek inside the womb this week, you would see a very baby-like fetus with hair, nails, thin little eyebrows, and well-developed limbs that are now in more proportion to the body. Your baby has come a long way since the fragile first trimester. Baby weighs a little over half a pound or somewhere around 300 grams. This is a life-size replica of a 20-week baby. Isn't he beautiful? Baby's airways are branching out and the air sacs are multiplying. If your baby is a girl, her uterus, fallopian tubes and cervix are all in place. If your little one is a boy, his testes and penis are now recognizable. At this stage, you may, may start feeling some movements. If you do, it's a good idea to mark down the date you felt your first movement. It's an amazing experience, and some doctors like to record this in your health records. It's also at this time that you may be offered a detailed anomaly or anatomy ultrasound scan. This scan is done for medical purposes and assesses baby's organ development. This includes looking at the heart, body, measuring the sides, size of the head, the abdomen, the length of the thigh bone, among other things. This scan gives your doctor and you important information about baby's health, and it may reveal possible complications. A very exciting part of this ultrasound is that at this stage, babies can demonstrate a wide variety of facial expressions. They can grimace and smile and yawn. It's very exciting. Studies have shown that being able to see your baby with ultrasound is proven to help parents develop an emotional connection with baby before he or she is born. Look at this beautiful 3D image of a 20-week fetus. It's amazing. And I know lots of you have been waiting for this. At this scan, you'll also be able to find out if you're having a baby boy or a baby girl. I know that some of you are anxious to know this ahead of time, and others, well, you may want to wait for the surprise on the big day, but either way, it's all exciting, and all you have to do is ask the person who's doing your ultrasound to just keep the news top secret. The placenta continues to be the life support system for your baby. Up until now, the placenta weighed more than the baby, but now at this point on, and from this point on, baby's weight will overtake that of the placenta. During your 20-week scan, it is quite a common finding for the placenta to be low-lying, but this is of little concern at this stage. The lower segment of your uterus starts to change in preparation for delivery, and the uterus grows faster than the placenta, so when the placenta is checked later, Almost always the lower edge has moved up and away from the birth canal. For more info about the placenta, check out our placenta video. 
So let's talk a little bit about how you're doing this week. By now, you have likely shared your news with most of your friends and family. Not to mention that your bump will be difficult to hide now. Your friends and family or even strangers might want to talk about your pregnancy. Like so many women, you may enjoy this closeness. But sometimes, you, sometimes they want to pat your tummy. I know because it used to happen to me all the time when I was uh, having my babies that a complete stranger wants to put their hand on my tummy. There are other mums that regard their pregnancy as a private time and this is normal too. Don't be afraid to say, hey, hands off the bump. I want to mention during your second trimester you may experience occasional bouts of dizziness and headaches. These are common complaints and this is usually due to increased blood volume that is circulating in your body. If symptoms persist, make sure you mention this to your doctor as it can be, it can be an indicator of a development of high blood pressure. Now just before we finish up, I know being pregnant is a special moment in your life, but some may also feel occasional pregnancy blues. You may have concerns about what kind of parent you're going to be or how you'll cope with labor and delivery. This is a time to start using some positive thinking. Try to concentrate on all the positive aspects of being pregnant and how special and amazing it is to be able to create new life. Becoming a parent is the most important job in the world, so be proud of your pregnancy. The life you're creating inside you is unique and magical. Well, that's it for week 20. If you have any questions or comments, please join us in the forums. I can't wait to tell you what's happening in week 21. Until then, enjoy this pregnancy journey of yours. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. I'm Monica Healy. Thanks for watching.